Hello everyone, this is Accelerate Games. I am back with another episode of Let's Play for Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 5, the final one of Season 1. I am really excited for this playthrough. As you've seen, uh, my bad and good choice playthrough, so uh, I'm going to start with the bad choices first. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to thank you guys for all the support. And this is not commentary, just doing the intro only. So let's get started. Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> Whatever, I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The sisters were enraged when the corporate lackey revealed his secret, but there was no backing out now. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you ship. Had yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gordis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. at one of the security checkpoints. We're here! Desecrating art! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? A lot of strange things have been happening today. Oh, hey, you know, you've got something on your face! What was on her face? Did you get it? I believe I did. Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Dirty! I can't believe it. What? That you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. I deserve this. Oh, wow. I wish I could hug you right now. I'm gonna make a robot that just hugs you when I tell it to. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my special boy. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here. And never really had a partner I could count on before. Feels kind of dope. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. Now you gotta project power. 
you gotta project vision, but you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Um, kinda hungry. Could go for a pepperoni pizza? You got it! Wow, that was fast. That's good, right? No, oh, 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 that just smells like happiness and garlic. Oh, I need this inside me right now. I know, right? Totally worth all the people you killed to get here, huh? Yes, <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Now chew slowly, because this next project might make you choke to death, and we don't want that. So, this is a sick-ass endoskeleton Nagiyama made for. Oh, that thing has a body? I, I didn't thought it was just for holding coffee mugs or something. See, they were gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it, so I'd be wearing my old body like a skin suit. It's great, right? <laughs> cool. You're damn right it's cool. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle. Grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom, jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. But like I said, we work so well together, your body, my brain, will change the freaking universe, baby. What the hell is wrong with you? There is no way I am doing that. Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Come on, remember how good that pizza was? No? Right? If I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun? Uh -huh. Kind of a... kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. You know what, Jack? Suck it. Oh, hell no! Well, shit. We need to go. Not an option. We still don't have the beacon. He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. You know, I didn't actually believe he could turn like this. It didn't surprise me in the slightest. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Sometimes things are complicated. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang our base this way. You know what you'll be right now without me. Nothing. 
Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Bond, they're all. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh pots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Ow. Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay door is just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Reese. I'm so sorry. That? Hello, Yvette. Listen, Reese, I gave Hyperion your coordinates because they gave me a guarantee. Guarantee? Oh, that we would have a painful death? Is that the guarantee? That you'd be safe. They wanted to kill you and rip some top secret file out of your head. I made sure they spared you. Please, Reese. I'm as good as dead if you leave me. No. Reese. Please. I'm sorry, okay? Come on! Like you never screwed someone over for a promotion. Reese! Reese! Come on! This way! Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream, it's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so Hey, you idiot. You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where Reese is? I, uh, is he the one with the glasses? Oh, yes, let's... Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Dunno. I haven't seen him. Yeah, right, sure. Nice try, babe, but you know where he is. Your friends always think it's cool to stand up for other friends, but it's a sucker play. Always rat. Ratting is awesome. You could be awesome. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean... I'll be straight with you, Reese is definitely gonna die. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. You're bluffing. I call bullshit on your guards. Yeah, not the smartest thing you've ever said. Probably the stupidest, though. Because I built this station, I hired the guards, and calling them in to kill people is, like, my favorite thing. Fine. Prove it. Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets.
of a lot of monitors in this place. out of here. <laughs> no problem. Into my head, my life has been a disaster. Uh, this hasn't exactly been a walk in the frickin' park for me either, Cupcake. All right, Jack. If you want to shut me out of the computer systems, fine. We'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. Ah! I am glad you're out of my brain so I can finally kill you. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning. Airlocks in the legal office. Failing. All lawyers vented into space. Oh, you're gonna kill me with that lightning rod? I'm made of electricity, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't actually think it would be that easy, did you, idiot? Power core damage reaching critical. Enjoy your last few seconds of not being dead. Stand by for core ventilation in three, two, one. One. No, 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 no! Core ventilation in progress. Oh, shit. I mean, have you learned nothing? I may not exist in this current form, baby, but I'm a legend, kid. And unlike you, when you're gone, it's for good. Yeah, I know. Emmy, right? You twirl on that one for a bit. Without me, you're nothing. Just a sad, silent vacuum of space waiting to be filled. Filled with a handsome death. Warning. Ventilation aborted. Room repressurizing. Eat it, Jack! Eat Warning. it all! Retro rockets activated. Fiona? Helios thrusters offline. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? You can't leave me here! Impact with Pandora imminent. Please begin evacuation procedures. Oh, you little asshole! Look what you have done! Great. These idiots. Hey, August. We got problems. Hang the door shut a few minutes ago. The whole base is on lockdown. God damn it, Reese. Yeah, what's the deal with that announcement? He's president now? <laughs> and I thought we were the shitty ones. Yeah, but what about the beacon? Relax, okay? I've got it. When I ask you a question, you better have an answer. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Come on, Gordis, you should wait in the van. It's dangerous out here. Oh, uh, okay. You don't really strike me as the caring type. No, you got me all wrong, Fiona. 
I describe myself as caring too much. Gotta keep this girl safe. Thanks, I guess. Hey! No, stay away! Hey, big man. This pistol may not have the stopping power for you. Unless you want to see your friend's brains all over the wall. <laughs> I'd ease up. What? No, this is our show. We're calling the shots. You do know that being shot and calling the shots ain't the same thing, right? Oh, I can demonstrate the difference if you'd like. Sorry, ladies. Valerie's got a different plan. Fire up the engines, August. Got a jet once those doors open. We'll take care of this. Yeah. Right. I don't... even know what to say to you. Don't look at me like that. I always knew you were just a mama's boy. Hey, that's enough out of you. Afraid to make decisions by yourself, August? Come on! Away from the ship! <sighs> Wait. What is this? Look, dude. Don't do this, man. This was always the plan. You knew that. Plans change. We need to get to Pandora. Warning. Helios planetary orbit compromised. Please calmly make your way to the nearest emergency pod and away hey, further. Assholes! So that guy Reese, I wanted we to, have to get you out of right? here. Well, he just sent this tin can on the crash course for Pandora. This is what happens when you don't follow directions. So Mother the grandparents and lock up the kids. These, um, containment suits should protect us, right? Radiation, yeah. Burning up in the atmosphere and crashing into Pandora, no. Wait your turn, Frick. Find Cordis. Keep her safe. After I find my sister. Then, gorgeous. Of course. Loaderbot! Loaderbot, are you there? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, buddy, I'm in a tight spot. Where is your location? Oh, just hanging out in the power core. And I, uh, kinda need to be rescued. Again? I will be right there. <laughs> 